What's up everyone? Welcome to Cafe Owner Simulator. And we are checking out the demo part of the Steam Next Fest today. And basically it is a game about owning your dream or opening your dream restaurant. Or cafe as I should say. Now we're out here in an abandoned, you know, demolished building. We got trash all over the place. So I feel like we're going to fix this place up. And we should hopefully make it into a popping cafe. So let's check it out here and see what it's all about. My father was in the restaurant business for all of his life. Every day after school, I would run into him at work and watch him run his business. He was strict, but a fair boss. Business was going very well. My father wanted to open a second restaurant in the neighboring town. Half of the money to open it had been raised and he planned to borrow the other half from the local mafia. He'd been friends with their boss since college. He turned out he his father or my father borrowed money and opened a second establishment. Unfortunately, it turned out to be unprofitable for days on end. He searched for the reason for the failure, but never found it. At some point, his health failed and ended up in the hospital. Well, that's not good. When he returned from the hospital, he began to go over all his bills that needed to be paid. He realized right away that he would never be able to pay them all. He didn't sleep for almost a week thinking about doing the business and re or closing the business and retiring. The decision was made. He sold the business, paid off, and retired. It was my 26th birthday. We decided to us to celebrate in our fa favorite place. My father raised a toast to me and his retirement. After which he handed me an envelope. I opened the envelope and saw a check for $50,000. Man, that's nice. Now your dream is real, son. After these words, I realized that my father knew how all through my childhood I followed his work with burning eyes. I was extremely happy and decided to re revive the family business. Welcome to Castle Lake. I hear you're planning to open a restaurant and a motel. I thought it was just a cafe, but I guess the motel works too. If so, that's good news. Our town doesn't have enough places to eat and have a good time. Name's Michael, and I'm the local sheriff. If you need my help, you can always call the police department. Good. Wait. He's a sheriff, but we're going to call the police department. Why don't we call the sheriff department? Whatever. Good luck with your business, and have a good day. That's my inner LSPDFR getting the best of me. We got pay phones. All right. Well, we got a lot of trash over here. We do got some pay phones, which is awesome. So figure out how to enter the restaurant. Well, I mean, it's kind of obvious. We walk here, go through a broken window, and we entered it. There's rats and everything. E, get rid of the pallet. Get rid of that pallet. Boom. Get rid of that pallet. Boom. Turn on the power, which is probably in here. Okay, I guess that door doesn't open. Maybe it's around back. Found it. So it's actually in the building behind the restaurant. Clean up all trash outside the building. Purchase at the tools. Tool store and catch everything. So tools. Net for rats. Mop for dirt. Catch all the rats. Okay. Do we buy it? There we go. Alright, so we want to clean up all of the trash. Because, you know, just a random tire. Got to rake all the leaves. We'll come back around here. No trash. We got trash over here. Got to rake some more leaves. We can rake the moss, too. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, let's get rid of all of these broken pallets here. Get rid of this, get rid of that. Gotta catch all these rats, it's gonna be a fun one. Look at all those dang bags. Get rid of all that. Traffic cone, I guess we need to keep. That we need to keep, get rid of that. Alright, so apparently our trash can is full. So we had to order garbage removal, and there it is. There's the garbage truck. Going to take our full dumpster. Going to take it at our uh, dumpster. Oh, we can't see the back of it. All right. So we actually don't have a set garbage day. 
So it's basically just whenever the uh, guy seems to want to come. So a trash can is now empty. And let us go ahead and continue doing what we were doing. Your restaurant level has been upgraded. Interesting. Alright, so I think we got everything outside of the building here. As far as I can see. So now let's go clean up the inside. Alright, so now we have everything cleaned up. So we're going to try to fight these rats here. Now, I don't know exactly... Okay, so we have take. So let's go ahead and try to fight these rats. Ooh, these are stinky little... Mm -mm. Man, these are quick little boys, aren't they? Oh, come on. <laughs> this is actually kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I got one, I think. Hey, I got him. All right, restore everything that's broken. Okay, so how do I... Ooh, fancy. Fancy. So I don't have to pay for any... Okay, I was going to say, like, do I not have to pay for the glass? There we go, fixing that one, fixing the big ones here, that one looks fine, these are good, this one don't have one, I guess it does. So, windows, roof, and foundation blocks. Alright, fixing these foundation blocks here. Making them look nice. And now we gotta go fix up the roof. So, we'll climb the ladder here. Unsure what I'm supposed to do on the roof, but I think I'm just supposed to clean it. Uh... Okay, and just, yeah, okay, just bang it with a mallet, and it should fix everything we need. I might have to try that in real life, and just go bang on my roof and see if it fixes everything by banging on it with a mallet. Interesting. Fix that, fix you. I guess everything works with the bang. Task is. I like how we're just walking and this is like at an angle pointing down. And we're just like, you know, like, yep, yeah, we're just gonna hang right here. It's gonna drop this mallet on people. Whee! Alright, so paint or wallpaper the walls. Walls. That looks cool. Whoa. Okay, that actually does look pretty cool. Just gotta bang it with the mallet as well. Oh, we gotta do the walls in here too. Yep. Alright, let's go to work on the menu. Open tablet menu and add five things to the menu. Okay. So. We'll definitely do a pepperoni pizza. We'll charge $5 for that. So how do I add things?
All right. Definitely do some chicken soup, some Caesar salad, some turkey. Turkey will charge seven dollars, and we'll do some homemade apple pie. Now let's order food for cooking. Open tablet food store. Tablet and food store. I don't see a food store. And then place them in the freezer. So place the cash register, kitchen table, and an oven. Okay. So cash register would be like right here, I'm assuming. Uh, nope, I wanted to rotate it if possible. Or you think it should go right next to... Yeah, it should actually go right here, so it's like right next to the door. Oh, well that didn't really... There we go. We'll just kind of block off that wall there. A kitchen table. So we have an oven. Which we can place right here. Refrigerator. Which you would think would go fit in the refrigerator, but I guess not. There we go. And a kitchen table, which I don't see. So we can put one right here. Oh, is that not what they wanted? I think they wanted this. Okay, well we got the cash register, kitchen table, oven, and refrigerator. Ah, we need sockets. There we go. Alright. So you need a socket too. So put yours right there. We're gonna power you on. Booyah. And then we need a socket for this bad boy. We'll sell that and we'll actually put it right here. Power you. There we go. So I'm trying to figure out what table they want. Unless they want this. Ah ha ha, I see what I did wrong. So we have to buy a fan for the oven as well. And then that needs to be electrical power too. So they have, we really have to do like the whole shebang here for this 
uh, thing, which is cool. So we want to power that into there. And that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. So that's not even the table we we're supposed to have. Night was cold. I don't have anything to keep me warm. I'll buy something to drink. I really need it now. If you don't give it to me, I'll break your windows. Here, take 15. Dang, hobos. Better not be breaking my windows, bro. So, then I don't understand what table they're looking for. Okay, I'm stupid. I'm not gonna lie, I am kinda stupid. There we go, so we'll actually move you over to here. Place the kitchen hood over the stove and a sink as well as two tables where visitors can eat. We got two tables, so we need a sink. Hire an employee at the kitchen table and install two lamps. We'll do Vlad. Six dollars per hour. Why not? It's two lamps. One. And then two can go right here. Those aren't the lamps they wanted. They wanted these lamps. All right. Place two bio toilets outside. They want two dang porta potties outside, don't they? Exterior. Now we got to call freaking porta potty people to come. Twelve hundred dollars for a porta potty. Jesus. Open the establishment and serve 30 customers. Let's open the establishment, open tablet. There we go, place is now open. Do we have food though is the real question. So... It was getting kind of cold in there, man. Okay, so I need to get pepperoni, tomatoes, cheese, mushrooms, ketchup probably. Uh, is there dough? Or is that, is that supposed? Cheese. Left it by the mailbox. All right. That's 20 cheese. All right. Make sure we got all of that. Don't want to leave any of this stuff rotting outside. These are tomatoes. And we got to have our first customer. I kind of wish they didn't leave it like outside by the mailbox though. I kind of wish that they actually Oh, go ahead. Not enough food or equipment to prepare the dish. All 
Okay, I don't know what... Okay, so we have chicken soup, Caesar salad, turkey. Okay, so I'm going to need to purchase a couple more things, it looks like. Turkey, uh, salad, so we'll need lettuce. Eggs, we'll probably need, probably need some milk. So we have that. We have everything we need for the chicken soup. Everything we need for the salad and then the apple pie. Oh. Okay, so it actually does tell you what you need. Okay, so we're going to close it down real quick. And we're going to order everything we need. Alright, so we're pretty much good. Got everything we need. We have unpaid bills. Penalty charges are automatically deducted from your account the next time you pay your bills. You can avoid interest by paying your bills on time. So we got bills to pay. Let's go ahead and pay them. We've paid them all. Let's go ahead and open up the restaurant. We should have everything we need now. How's it going, man? You don't look too, you don't look too happy. Just going to hang out over here at this... Uh, we got to serve 30 customers. That's going to be a lot of customers. So supposedly there's a cockroach somewhere. Where, I don't know. Ah, right there. Let's go ahead and grab that. Interesting. Alright. Get rid of that. We got an order. How we doing? So he wants one pepperoni pizza. You can take as many orders at a time as you have kitchen tables and workers on them. Alright, so he wants... So we'll go ahead and sweep up his little mess over there, which he can do himself, but, you know. Customer service. Are you kidding me? Of course, it goes right next to the customer. Get out of here. Alright, so we have a ready order. Here you go, sir. Alright, pizza, pepperoni. There you go, sir. Let's go ahead and add some more tables if we can. It's starting to feel a little crowded, but it's, you know, it's okay. Got one. There you go. Hello, what, are you, what would you like? Chicken soup. Alright, that's different. We got chicken soup. Alright, let's have a man take care of that chicken soup for her. Oh, we got money. We got six dollars. Oh, we, they can leave tips. That's cool. Cool. Okay, so it's in progress. I was about to say, is he going to make the soup or not? Okay, so we have two hundred and twenty-three dollars. Kind of went a little overboard on the uh, ingredients, but it's okay. Alright, show ready orders. We'll take that to her. There you go. Enjoy. We'll take the turkey. So he wants... Uh, what would it be under other? Turkey. Alright, so it's seven dollars. I might have to raise the price here a little bit of this type of stuff. So that's going to be ten dollars. Uh, 
All right, 11. That can go up to six, so that's good there. That's good there. That's good right there. So we have to raise the price of some of the stuff here, which is fine. Not worried about it. So far, we've done four orders. So I like how it says apple pie, but he got pancakes. He ordered an apple pie, but somehow got pancakes instead. Interesting. But we do have some reviews here. So we have two star review, more or less comfortable place. Four star review, I liked everything including entertainment. Four star review, good service, I was served quickly, I'm satisfied. This guy did not get the right food. Or this girl did not get the right food. Which I'm not, you know, my chef. Which we don't even have pancakes on the menu, so I'm trying to figure out how he made pancakes. Have unpaid bills. So we probably have another review. Good place, but dirty. It's not that dirty. So we have a Caesar salad. A salad. Caesar. Cool. And we have an open order pepperoni pizza for this guy right here. So we're at 14 people so far. And we're pretty much good on reviews. Our refrigerator, we still got a bunch of stuff. I'm wondering if we can add some stuff to the menu. Which actually... So we do have another ready dish, Caesar salad, we'll take that to her. There you go, enjoy. Alright. So the thing I don't really understand is, there's a glitch in the matrix. There is a glitch in the matrix. So the thing I don't understand is, how come the guy over there that I have preparing my food has to bring it up here? And how come he just can't bring it to the table? Like, that's one thing I don't understand. But it is what it is. And we have our 30th customer today. Now, I will say that it does take a while to get your 30 customers. So this is actually one of the longer demos that are out there so if only they had like maybe you know 15 customers it'd be a little bit better but it does get repetitive and it does kind of get a little bit boring at times you know just you sit there collect the cash sweep up the floor and then you know bring the orders to the tables and stuff like that and then you gotta wait on him to cook the food and all that good stuff so it does get pretty repetitive and uh, pretty boring at times. But you know what? It is a cool game so far. I will say that. For just being a demo. There is a lot of features that you can do. And we do have quite a few tables. And you know we'll get you this. We'll get, we'll get this guy. There we go. That's going to be 31 customers. But you know what? It is what it is man. So yeah. I am liking it so far. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it. It. You know like I said it is kind of long with you know having to serve all 30 people so but other than that i do like the demo i do hope to see you know updates in the future and stuff and what we can and can't do because i feel like we can actually extend and like add on to this place you know maybe like make this into like a party room or whatever we got customers leaving cups and trash and stuff this guy's gonna be 31 place is closed up oh, no we'll open it for this person and then we'll close it pizza for cheese ready orders take there you go bud 
No, that's his order. That's what I was going to say. Alright, so now we are closed. So, what we do have in the possibly prologue and final release coming out. So we do have marketing, golden bank, which I'm assuming is like your bank for like loans and stuff. Skills, wallpapers, which is probably like wallpapers for the restaurant. We do have a camera, so probably you could take like thumbnails, emails. You can check your emails from like corporate or whatever. Statistics, logo types, which probably you can create your own different logo for your diner. And we also have delivery. That's going to be different. Got to love customers leaving their trash. And then we will wait on her before we actually take out this trash here. We do have a rat. I'm going to have to grab out my net here because we do have a rat somewhere. Alright, so we do have the cash transaction there. So we served 30 customers already. We have a wrap somewhere in this freaking establishment. Alright, so we pretty much did all 30 customers, as far as I'm aware. I'm not too sure why we still can't, you know, end the, pro end the demo here. But I feel like that is pretty much all we can do. So that is going to go ahead and do it for this one, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys here on the next video. Peace.